हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक चिल्ड्रेन फॉर आर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ जोग्राफी लेसन नंबर फोर क्लाइमेट लेट्स हैव अ कंपेरेटिव स्टडी अबाउट द क्लाइमेट ऑफ ब्राज़ील एंड इंडिया इन दिस लेसन नाउ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद दिस लेसन लेट्स हैव अ रीकैप अबाउट अवर प्रीवियस नॉलेज अबाउट द थर्मल जोन इफ यू कैन सी इन दिस डायग्राम there is from 0 degree to 23 and 1/2 degree north and 0 degree to 23 and 1/2 degree south this is called as the torrid zone now in the torrid zone you can see the perpendicular rays of the sun because of the perpendicular rays of the sun what happens the temperature becomes high over here in this part then if we go from if we go above from 23 and 1/2 degree to 66 and 1/2 degree north and south this part is called as the temperate zone now why this part is called as a temperate zone because here the rays of the sun becomes little bit slanting because of which the temperature is not too high nor too cold so if we go higher from 66 and 1/2 degree north till 90 degree north as well as 66 and 1/2 degree south to 90 degree south this part is called as a frigid zone because this is the zone in which the rays of the sun become totally slanting or we can say extremely slanting so why i am telling you about this thermal zones because we have learned in the second lesson of geography about the location of brazil and india and we have come to know that brazil as well as india is partly or fully in the torrid zone so let's learn about the climate of both these countries firstly we'll start with the climate of brazil now here is a map given to you the map is telling you about the average annual rainfall as well as temperature in brazil it is shown with the help of different shades of blue color as well as the isotherms now what are isotherms the isotherms are those lines which are joining same type of temperature on the earth's surface so if you have understood this map let's answer some of the questions first question considering the isotherms of brazil what is the average range of temperature in brazil now if you see the map properly you will come to know that the average annual rainfall ranges from 18 degree celsius to 28 degree celsius in brazil this is the average annual temperature of brazil let's move on to the next question in which area does it rain more now if you see the index properly you will come to know that the dark blue color part is the maximum rainfall part so where can you see the uh, dark color shade in this map it is in mainly in the amazon basin it literally ranges up till 2000 mm of rainfall in the amazon basin next question from which directions are winds blowing towards brazil now if you see again over here in the map you can see this arrows coming over here what are these arrows these are the winds coming to brazil from where they are coming to brazil they are coming from the north east and they are coming from the south east these are the two directions from which the winds are coming into brazil a next question what could be the reason behind that now they are asking what could be the reason for these winds to come into brazil because these are the winds they are called as trade winds now this trade winds carry moisture along with them and they enter into brazil and give monsoon to brazil next question what could be the obstruction in the way of this winds now when these winds are coming into brazil they are obstructed how are they, why are they obstructed who obstructs them here here is the great escarpment this great escarpment obstructs this winds from coming into brazil so let's see what happens which type of rainfall will occur because of this winds so when there is an obstruction we have learned previously also about the obstruction of the winds 
and uh, the places where the obstruction takes place that is called as the orographic rainfall area so here the northern part of the brazil or the northern coast of the brazil will receive orographic type of rainfall correlate this winds and rainfall just because of the obstruction caused by the escarpment the winds will blow in a vertical direction and only the north eastern north coastal part will get the rainfall while if you go in the inner side of the highlands you will find that the leeward side will get the rain shadow region now next question in which part of brazil are the average temperatures low now if you see the average temperatures in brazil you will find that in the andes mountain the temperature is low as well as the parana paraguay basin the parana paraguay basin is over here here also the temperature is low as well as in the brazilian highlands also the temperature is low next question identify the rain shadow area in brazil now as i told you because of the escarpment only the coastal region gets the heavy rainfall while when the wind goes inside into brazil that time it is already empty so we can say it is it does not give rain over there so that place is called as a rain shadow area in which region do you find a higher temperature now if you see the map properly you will see the top part over here is the equator so where will be the higher temperature the higher temperature will be near the equator in the amazon basin so the temperature is high in the amazon basin considering the latitudinal extent of brazil where will you find temperate climate in brazil now here if it is hot climate then where will be the temperate climate the temperate climate will be near the tropic of capricorn so the temperate type of climate will be near the tropic of capricorn describe the winds blowing to a zero blowing between 0 degree to 5 degree north and south zones which winds are blowing over here the winds are tropical easterlies what what are those those are tropical easterlies next question which method has been used to show in this map now in the 9th standard you all have learned about the different methods of showing a map so one such method is also over here which method is over used over here correct you are right it is the isopleth method so you have understood the map very nicely if you could answer so many questions that means you have understood this map very clearly now let's move on to the graph given along with this map over here now a graph is provided to you of four cities in brazil first is manaus belem porto alegre rio de janeiro these are the four cities given to you the graph is regarding the average annual temperature and rainfall in this four cities so you have seen the bar, uh, graphs over here the bar over here is showing the average annual rainfall the red color line is showing the maximum temperature the blue color line shows the minimum temperature first question in which month is the highest temperature found in all the four cities all of you will just see the temperatures in all the four cities where in which month can you see it is ranging from january to february so from january to february the highest temperature is found in which month does it rain the most in the given cities now here you can see this map graph properly you will come to know in the month of um, march in the month of march we can see it is having highest rainfall which city has the maximum range of temperature now see the um, maximum range of temperature in all the four cities 
मनाउस बेलेम पोटो एलेग्रे रियो डी जेनेरो येस इट इज पोटो एलेग्रे इट इज रेंजिंग टिल ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस वॉट टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट विल बी फाउंड इन रियो डी जेनेरो सी द ग्राफ ऑफ रियो डी जेनेरो प्रॉपरली द रेनफॉल द टेम्परेचर्स मैक्सिमम मिनिमम टेकिंग इन टू कंसिडरेशन ऑल दिस थिंग वॉट टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट विल बी फाउंड इन रियो डी जेनेरो येस इट इज द ट्रॉपिकल सवाना टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट एज वेल एज यर द रेनफॉल रेंजेस फ्रॉम डिसम्बर टिल मार्च सच अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी कैन से रेनफॉल इज देर इन रियो डी जेनेरो so you all have understood get this graph also very nicely very good now let's have a geographical explanation about the uh, climate of brazil the vast latitudinal extent of brazil you can see over here how much vast brazil is because of which there is a wide range of climatic variations in brazil now near the equator it's hot while if you see near the tropic of capricorn we can find temperate type of climate now if we talk about the rain and uh, rain in brazil the Brazil gets rain from the north easterlies and the south easterlies these are the trade winds which are coming from the north east and from the south east the brazilian highland it extends from extends up till north east you can see over here the brazilian highland is extending up to north east the escarpment over here acts as an obstruction leading to orographic rainfall in coastal region beyond highlands you can see the effect of this winds get reduced and rainfall is minimal which makes this region rain shadow and this is also called as drought quadrilateral now let's talk about the temperature of brazil the northern part of brazil is hot while the temperature goes down in the southern part of brazil if you see the brazilian coast temperature does not vary much in the coastal region near the equator difference in temperature is negligible so what happens the winds here move in vertical direction as well as the conversion of trade winds is also very weak because of this vertical uh, movement of the wind as well as the convergence of trade winds weak uh, weaker weakness of the convergence of trade winds cyclones does not take place in this area or we can say tropical cyclone rarely visit the coast of brazil as most part of the country lies in the tropical zone as we know that most part of the country lies in the tropical zone the temperature is high amazon valley itself the temperature ranges from 25 to 28 degree celsius you can see the climate is cooler in the highlands why is the climate cooler in the highlands just because of the proximity to the sea or nearness to the sea the amazon valley receives 2000 mm of rainfall while if you see the north eastern coast receives only 1000 to 1200 mm of rainfall this is the rainfall pattern of brazil That's all about the climate of Brazil. Now, answer some of my questions. What is the characteristic of south eastern coast of Brazil? Options are A, black sand, B, white sand, C, muddy sand. Answer is B, 
that is white sand very good let's move on which is the popular game of brazil a basketball b hockey c soccer answer is c soccer very good amazon basin in brazil lies near the dash a tropic of cancer b equator c tropic of capricorn answer is b equator that's all about this part of the lesson in the next lecture we are going to learn about the climate of india thank you